Do you remember the Xilence M705D? An amazing cooler. One of the very best performers we've had. And funnily enough, it just didn't make a lot of sense. Or at least the heatsink size did not suggest that this thing would turn out as good as it did. However, Xilence has another cooler that does not look as good as it may or may not be. This is the Xilence M704 Pro ARGB or XC056 because you know, dual names and stuff. The miniature version of the M705D. But don't fear because for the low low price of two heat pipes and a bit of heatsink thickness, we are getting ARGB, what a great deal. No, I'm joking, but let's see if Xilence's smaller version is just as much of a surprise as the bigger one. A M704 Pro comes in pretty much the same box as any other Xilence cooler. White, black, with a touch of red and a bit of information. Inside we'll find the heatsink, the fan, mounting material for AMD and Intel, some thermal paste, a handy ARGB controller in case you don't have a 3-pin ARGB header on your motherboard, and two sets of clips in case you want to run this thing in a dual fan mode. Interesting to note here is that Xilence does include an ARGB splitter because both the top plate and the fan use a port on their own. But instead of just including a 1 to 2 splitter, which would make so much sense, they include a 1 to 4, which was totally unnecessary, but it's great. In case you want to run even more ARGB stuff, there is nothing stopping you now. The cooler itself is composed of a 4 direct touch heat pipe design with an all black heatsink that is about 160mm high. The fan that is supposed to be slapped on top is one of Xilence's own in house made 1500rpm fans blowing at 68 CFM at I don't know how much static pressure because nobody cared to write it anywhere. By using the included mounting material we are able to slap this bad boy on top of an AM4 or AM5 motherboard for Team AMD and on the blue side we are looking at LGA17, 12, every 1150, 2011 and 2066 support. To install it, it's a pretty easy process. For Team Intel, take the appropriate backplate and slap it behind your motherboard. In the front, place the spacers on top, followed by the bracket with the ends pointing towards the CPU and then screw it down. Over on AMD, it's a bit easier. Here we just need to remove the pre-installed retention brackets and replace them with spacers followed by the brackets in an inwards pointing position and screw everything down. Now on both platforms, platforms, splash some thermal paste on top of the CPU and screw that sucker down. But before you reposition the fan, make sure to squeeze the ARGB cable coming from the top plate into one of the holes on the heatsink. This makes sure that the cable is not visible later on because yeah, having a cable dangling through half the case just really is not the look we are aiming for. And while we are at it, ARGB. The top of the cooler comes with a plastic plate that has a semi-see-through Xilinx logo on top with the ARGB lighting through it, as well as those slice-like structures throughout the plate. The fan got some ARGB too, this time in form of a central illumination going all across the milky acrylic wing. On that note, the fan ARGB is, I would say, okay, not the best, not the worst, but the plate is kinda, yeah, it's way too weak. The light is barely visible at all, and even if I turn down the lighting for the B-rolls to an absolute minimum, which is just pulling out the plug, the camera can still barely take it. It's just too weak. I don't know what happened here, but it, it's just too weak. But what about performance? Respectable. Letting the fans spin at max speed, the M704 Pro managed to keep the CPU at 53.1 degrees C, and considering its size and amount of heat pipes, it should be performing somewhat like an Arctic Freezer 34 eSports. And it did. Being just 0.1 degrees C behind, the Xilence M704 performed surprisingly well, keeping up with one of the very best. But one thing about this cooler that I immediately noticed during benchmarks was the noise. It was surprisingly quiet on full load. And who would have thought? On the noise to performance side, the Xilence M704 Pro did manage to outperform a Freezer 34 eSports by a small margin all across the board which is a huge surprise. Compared to other coolers in the same size category, we have for example the Be Quiet Pure Rock 2 Black which got annihilated to say the least. The only comparable things that were able to
to beat this little thing are the upgraded Pure Rock 2 FX and the much higher cost Dark Rock Slip. And from there we have things like the Xylens M705 which would just create a bloodbath, so let's ignore the dual fan option for this comparison. But compared to the same size, same fan amount alternatives, the M704 Pros got significantly better than expected. Again, a very, very good result for silence, which is basically be quiet just in this guy. So where does this leave us? Well, quality as a whole, very, very good. Sturdy, good installation method. I like that the central mounting bridge is mounted to the cooler, not to your hopes and dreams, like be quiet does it, but overall, very, very good. On the ARGB side, kind of bad. You will have to decide for yourself, but as far as we are concerned, we don't believe that the top plate has a sufficient amount of power going through it to make it, you know, shine. So in the end, it, it just looks a bit cheap. Performance-wise, surprisingly good noise to performance ratio, very well suited for mid-range systems, Ryzen 5, i5. I wouldn't go higher, that would just make the fan ramp up too much, but mid-range is okay. And price-wise, the cooler is also in a very good position. I can get this one for about 35 euros. So to buy or not to buy? Don't buy it. Uh, it would be a very stupid decision. Not that the cooler is bad. Sure, if you want to get the ARGB thing, go for it. But Xylence's own M705D, the dual fan, two more heat pipes version, the one that got exactly the same zero RAM clearance issues, because yes, both of them have zero RAM restriction. That monster that would create a bloodbath if you would compare it in, in a head-to-head -head comparison. Well, that one is going for a whopping 1 euro 59 cents more it. For the price of two cans of coke, you can go from I am okay for an i5 to I am the reason they are pushing back the climate change predictions every year. So no, go for the M705. You can do M704 for mid-tier CPUs, but you won't do yourself a big favor here. The bigger one will just stay in idle all the time and chill if combined with the same class of CPU that you would use with this one. But okay, this should be it for today about the Xilence M704 Pro ARGB. At this point, a huge thank you to Xilence for sending it over, but if you want to keep watching, I would suggest taking a look at the M705D for obvious reasons. On a side note, we have channel memberships, and if you're looking for a good way to sell your soul for RG poop emoji, that's a pretty good way to go. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to pay the fine we have to pay because our M705D blew away some birds last week. Yeah, we have uh, very strict rules when it comes to annoying birds, and it was nice outside, so I thought building a PC outside would be a good idea. It wasn't. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.